Hey, welcome to another video. In this video, what I'm going to do is just give you a bit of a rundown on applying bully liner to my canopy. So when I bought the canopy, it was just in the checker plate uh, aluminium. I was wanting to get it powder coated, but the, most of the companies were going to charge around $500 to $1,000 to actually get it powder coated. So what I did is looked into see what alternatives there were. So what I came across is a product called Bully Liner which is a water-based product made out of recycled tyres. I got it off eBay for $240 for four litres and that also included a application on a spray gun. So this video here is just going to give you a bit of a rundown. Prepping, the canopy, the tray sides and applying the bully liner. And yeah, like I'm no expert, just giving it a crack at home. But so far, well, I found the product easy to use. So if you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe for similar videos. So let's rewind now and get into the prep. Okay, so prep time. Going to get the canopy and tray sides ready for the bully liner. So sand them back, give them a good clean up, use an edge primer. And that should um, then be ready for the bully liner. So take the time now do a good prep on the prep on the alloy and then hopefully it adheres nicely and yeah it should be nice and long lasting so it's gonna take me a little bit of time but yeah get get it nice and all the surfaces nice and cleaned up get that edge primer on it and then we'll get into the blue liner I'm ready to start spraying the canopy. The bully line has arrived, the gun's arrived, and finally the last component has arrived, which is the air compressor. So I haven't, well, I don't currently own an air compressor, well I do as of now, so it's just arrived. I uh, jumped on eBay and tried to find, well I was looking for a two horsepower compressor, apparently that's kind of the minimum you need, so I picked up a compressor from Sydney Tools. I think it's a Lincoln two horsepower, 21 litre uh, air compressor. So, which is only $89 delivered. So I've got on the compressor, I got a basic kind of hose and a few attachments for about another $15 and postage was free. So I've got that delivered, uh, I'll unpack that now and then I can hopefully, it's a long weekend this weekend, so I can get it set up and then get into spraying, hopefully the canopy and the tray sides this weekend. Uh, wanting to, yeah, it's all pretty much prepped. Now it's just a matter of giving the bully liner a go and actually and spraying the canopy. So let's get into it. So getting ready to apply the blue liner, I've set up some temporary bit of a spray booth in the garage. Uh, the tray sides and that are all edge primed, cleaned, ready to go. So I've got the compressor set up and we'll do a bit of a test run, see how we go. I'm going to do the inside of the tray just to see how it sprays and then hopefully do the outside and then you can do the canopy. So good to go and see how we get on. So I've just applied my first coat, what they recommend is just a light coat. Initially, let it go tacky and then apply your next coat. So it's a real humid day here in Melbourne, um, in Brisbane. So it's um, yeah, taking a little bit longer just to get that tackiness, but it's good now. So I'll give it another spray. Um, first coat, I struggled to you know, get a nice even kind of spray. It was quite blotchy. So I'm going to try and turn the PSI up a little bit. I'm um, on the compressor and the gun just to try and get a bit of a smoother finish, but we'll give it a go.
thanks to the work of the on the ground. And for So I've just finished mounting the canopy back on, so fully liner um, sprayed on, which was nice and easy. Really easy to apply. The only one thing to watch is you don't get any blotching, so just trying to an even spray as you go, but overall pretty happy with it. Might do one more light spray when I get a chance, but um, yeah, nice and easy. Looks good, and we'll see how it lasts, so to show you around.